Hello, welcome to the introductory screencast about Transana's main screen. This screencast provides a quick introduction to different parts of Transana's main screen and shows some of what each of Transana's windows can do. Transana is shown on a Windows computer here, but is very similar on OS X. When you start Transana, the program's main screen appears. This main screen is made up of five major components. At the top of the screen is the menu bar. The menu bar allows access to many functions that affect how Transana behaves. The file menu allows access to a variety of file related functions such as changing databases, exporting documents and transcripts to external files, and exiting Transana. The document menu allows you access to functions for manipulating documents and transcripts such as cut, copy, and paste, formatting functionality, and inserting still images from files into your text. The Tools menu provides access to Transana's tools for browsing notes, managing files, and importing and exporting data for transfer between computers. If you're using the multi-user version of Transana, you can also find tools for text-based chat with others using the same database at the same time, and for handling record lock problems that can arise from time to time. The Options menu allows you to set a variety of Transana's options. On Windows, this menu contains a Program Settings option, while if you are on OS X, you will find the same options in the Preferences item in the Transana menu on the left. All other program options are available in the Options menu on all supported operating systems. The Window menu allows you quick access to all of Transana's open windows, including the main windows you currently see, as well as any reports and snapshot windows that you open during analysis that may be hidden behind other windows. The Help menu allows you to access Transana's digital manual and a full tutorial that goes into more details about how to use Transana than the individual screencasts you are now watching are able to do. Transana's data window in the lower right quadrant of the screen is where you organize your data and where you control what data you are working with at any given time. You bring your raw text, image, and media files into Transana through this window. You select what data you want to work with and you review and organize the analytic quotes, snapshots, and clips that you create as you make sense of your data. You can create keywords and apply those analytic codes from this window. The data window is also where you specify the scope of data that you want to include when generating Transana's reports, maps, and graphs, and is where you initiate code searches and explore your search results. I'm now going to load some source data that I imported into Transana earlier into Transana's main interface. To do this, I open the library that contains the document and episode records I want. For documents, I can double click them to load them into Transana's document window. I can load several documents at one time this way, each into its own tab. For episodes, I first show the transcripts that are available and then I select the transcript I want to view by double-clicking it. This loads all of the appropriate information for the episode into Transana's interface. Because media data is more complex than text data, I can only have one media element loaded in Transana at a time. The document window in the lower left-hand corner of the screen is essentially a word processor with some special features built in that facilitate qualitative analysis of text as well as transcription and qualitative analysis of media files. When I have video loaded, the media window in the upper right hand corner of the screen displays the video files I brought into Transana for analysis or controls audio files that I brought in. It provides a control bar for controlling playback Please note that this video is not as well as positioning of the media file. When working with media data in Transana, the media file and the transcript are tightly linked. During transcription, 
you can use key combinations to control media playback, which makes transcription easier and more efficient. After you have transcribed and time-coded your media files, the document window can highlight the text in the transcript that matches the part of your media file currently being displayed. You can also use Transanda's text search capacity in the transcript to locate the part of the media file you want to view. When media and transcripts are linked, Transanda can easily display the corresponding segment of the media file. For quick clips, you first create a keyword that you want to assign to the clip if the desired keyword does not already exist. The visualization window, shown in the upper left section of Transanda's main screen, provides information about the currently loaded and selected data file. The visualization displayed is for whatever data is selected in the document window. For text data, this window shows information about the coding that has been applied to that text data. For media data, Transanna can display a waveform which provides information about the audio track of the media file and can also display information about the coding that you have applied to the media file showing the coding that you've done along the media file's timeline. In addition, if you're working with media data without creating transcripts first, the visualization window helps you identify portions of the media file that you want to work with analytically. Now that you've seen all of the elements of Transanna's main screen, you'll want to move on to the screencasts that describe how to bring data into Transanna and how to work with that data once it's in the program.